good morning and they're going to need to make a lot of efforts to start to get the ball moving even further because what they're noticing from this data is that while the state is reopening there are certain pockets certain neighborhoods certain racial and ethnicity groups that have been hit especially hard now especially Hispanics and I say that because if you look at the state data what it's telling uh, these health officials is that 33 percent of the cases are attributed to Latinos and why that's so shocking is because they only make up 13 percent of the state's population. A huge uh, discrepancy there. Now, African-American community is also seeing an uptick, but the margin there is much smaller. The state says race and ethnicity data is still missing for about 30 percent of the state's cases. In fact, the push to collect data didn't begin until mid-March when a group of doctors at Harborview, they started noticing a high number of limited English proficient patients. Now, I spoke to one of those doctors, Dr. Paula Houston, who's the director of healthcare equity with UW Medicine. She says moving forward, the state's testing sites are asking questions about race and ethnicity, but also about housing stability and looking at whether have people have a safe place to isolate away from family and if they have access to testing. As we have started, you know, seeing some really good progress uh, in this state, of, uh, of, of that flattening of the curve, as they said. Uh, you know, we have to be cautious because we've just started testing some of the most vulnerable communities. Last month, UW Medicine opened its first walk-up, no appointment necessary testing site in the Rainier Beach neighborhood in King County. Dr. Houston says right now they're looking at data to locate a second neighborhood for a walk-up site. She also says they'll soon have two mobile van testing sites that can go up and down the Pacific Northwest as well. Now, moving forward, they plan to work with health boards, community groups to help educate people that certain groups are still at a higher risk for coronavirus. Virus. But in the long term, she says she's optimistic. She thinks the coronavirus pandemic is what's going to spark a conversation in these communities, in these neighborhoods about long term community health and hoping they can make some strides forward at that point. Live in Tacoma, Callie Greenberg, King 5 News.